I'm Howie Hawkins. I'm the Green Party candidate for governor. And one of the first things I'll do when elected is to re-impanel the Moreland Commission on Public Corruption. The Moreland Commission was created by the governor in July of last year to look at corruption in the state. He disbanded it this March. The question is, why did Andrew Cuomo kill the Moreland Commission on Public Corruption? This year alone, there have been a half dozen arrests of state lawmakers for a variety of reasons, from embezzlement to bribery. I believe with the credibility of this commission, you can go a long way towards restoring that public trust. I believe... I believe the public trust really doesn't matter to Governor Cuomo. He killed the Moreland Commission when he set it up to create public trust. That undermined the public trust. Now the U.S. Attorney General, Preet Bharara, is stepping in. So, you know, we just want to get our hands on the files. The commission clearly has the legal authority to look at anything they want to look at, including the governor, the attorney general, the controller, etc. They have the legal authority. People on the real estate board have contributed heavily to all those Democratic candidates, and that was one of the subpoenas that's uh, in question. In a recent interview, Cuomo said, quote, it's not a legal question. The Moreland Commission was my commission. It's my commission, my subpoena power, my Moreland Commission. I can appoint it. I can disband it. I appoint you. I can unappoint you tomorrow. So interference, it's my commission. I can't interfere with it because it's mine. It's controlled by me. You got to remember, Albany, you know this, Joe. It's a, this, is, this is a fiefdom town. Mr. President, according to the Moreland Commission itself, a number of so-called pay-to-play arrangements in which wealthy interests allegedly exchange targeted campaign contributions for targeted pieces of legislative action, quote, gaping loopholes, such as the LLC loophole to allow wealthy donors to sidestep already sky-high contribution limits. Contribution limits? That's the last thing Andrew Cuomo wants. 81% of his money comes from donations of over $1,000. 45% from donations of over $40,000. That's not something average people give. That's something rich people give in return for favors, legislation, tax breaks, contracts. And then they realized, oh no, our guys are going to get caught too, and it was just old politics as usual. Uh. I, look, I think this makes Cuomo look, I agree with you, Joe, I think this takes him off the national stage. National stage? It's time to take Andrew Cuomo off the state stage in New York State. What they call the liberal use of campaign funds for personal use by certain legislators. Conflicts of interest arising from legislators outside employment and their allocation of member items and other discretionary funding. And the report concludes that in just a few short months, out of ongoing investigations, they've revealed phantom health clinics, inexplicable statutes, misuse of party housekeeping accounts, and more. And now, Mr. President, we want to shut this operation down. One of the reasons I'm running for governor is that the 1%, the very rich people, have bought two parties and they give us two choices that are not much different from each other. It's time that working people have one party of their own, and that's why we've got a Green Party campaign out here to speak up for the everyday people. Reports in the New York Times claim that after appointing the commission, the governor's office interfered with its work. Quote, objecting whenever the commission focused on groups with ties to Mr. Cuomo. The governor created a panel to tackle corruption, then systematically blocked it from probing anything related to himself. <laughs> Say it ain't so, Andy. Say it ain't so. Certainly, I think things were wrong. I don't think you should have be telling a committee that you set up a commission, you set up to do an independent investigation and then tell them not to send out certain subpoenas. If that broke the law, maybe, but it's certainly wrong. Um, but as far as the legalities, I'll leave that to Pre Perara and uh, any other law enforcement officials looking into this. I'm running on a Green New Deal for New York. I'm the candidate of the 99% running against Governor 1%. And I need the 99% to step up with small contributions, volunteer time, get the word out. And the way to do that is go to my webpage, howiehawkins.org, and click the volunteer button and get signed up there. Click the donate button, get signed up there, and then read through the materials we have there about the issues.